Hey guys, we have a few updates uh, from the last few days and so I wanted to make this video and wanted to make sure that everybody gets the information uh, without me writing a long blog or long messages. Um, so this is just the easiest way. Basically, we, I have three things for all of us. One is we are kicking off the online small group. Then uh, our next focus meeting, a quick review from our meeting last night, and then also our identity teaching, our church identity teaching that we will be doing this Sunday. So let me go through them one by one. Let's start with the online small group. So it looks like there's enough interest. Several of us would like to join this group. And so we'll give it a try. We'll start the group this week and then we'll just see how it goes. Um, maybe after a few weeks we realize, okay, there's not enough interest. But as of right now, there seems to be. And so we'll just kick it off and see where that leads us. So we are going to meet every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. till around 9 p.m. It's going to be a bit shorter than the Friday group. Uh, we'll also have to see how we do that with the prayer time and everything. So we'll work out those details. But we are meeting on Wednesday, every Wednesday night, 8 o'clock online we can still move the day if we then realize okay um maybe another day of the week is better for many of us or we can still change that but the plan for now is wednesday night 8 p.m the link is the same that we used uh, during the corona time so if you still have that one then uh, you can just join the meeting that way uh, if you don't have that one anymore or if you joined us since the corona time then um, just let me know and I'll send you the link again. We'll not make it public. We'll not put it on the internet because then who knows who might be joining us and we might be more dealing with uh, yeah, who is just joining the meeting. So um, that's why we will not make it public. But of course, anybody who attends Aletheia can also attend the small group. So if you need the link, let me know. The Friday small group will, of course, also continue as usual. So there will be no changes there. And I would also want to make it clear again, because I got that comment a couple of times, um, you can attend either one or the other. It's not necessary to attend both. We, you can choose which one you suits better. Maybe location is better for one, or maybe your schedule is better for one than for the other. Maybe you prefer in-person or you prefer online. It doesn't matter which one you choose, but we're going to cover the same topic. We are going to do the same format. We will always review the uh, previous Sunday sermon. So there's really no need to attend both in the same week. Also, of course, you can join back and forth. So if you say, well, I prefer the in-person group on Friday, but now and then I'm not in town on Friday. Can I join then the online group that particular week? Of course you can. Uh, so this is not about legalism or anything. What we want to do is we want to give as many chances as possible for everyone to attend a small group. And that's why we are offering the second option. So that's what we'll start this week. And then uh, we'll see where that leads us, uh, how, it, how the attendance goes and how people feel about it and so on. So that's the first topic, the small group. Secondly, we, yesterday we had our next church focus meeting. And the general consensus of those who attended was simply that, yes, we have achieved our goal. Most of us felt good about our relationships now, and most of us said, yeah, we feel ready to take the next step. We feel ready to focus on another goal. Now, at the same time, one concern that was raised by several people as well was, we also need to be careful that we don't now forget about what we have been doing this, this last year. Because of course, it's not helpful to anybody if we now say, well, we've achieved our focus, let's stop meeting, let's stop caring for each other, let's stop praying for each other, let's stop building community, then the whole point of what we have been trying to do over these last 12 months is really goes right out of the window again. So we want to make sure that we all understand, yes, we will focus on something else uh, very soon, but that doesn't mean that we are done with building Christ-centered community. We will continue this theme. It has to become a habit. It has to become part of our lifestyle. And it has to be something that we as a church always do, whether it's the current church focus or it's not. So we hope we all understand that. And we hope you've all done great uh, contributions to this goal. And we have seen a lot of things happening, informal gatherings, prayers, care for each other, and all these wonderful things. And we hope we all understand just because we shift the focus doesn't mean that's over. We want to continue doing that while at the same time we want to focus on something else. 
Um, we then discuss what could we do next? What could be our next focus? Now we ha haven't made a decision on that or anything. Uh, we said we don't want to rush into it. We don't. We need prayers. We need to think about it. We need to t discuss it with each other, and we need some time to really make sure that we pick the right focus and that we approach this the right way. So our goal is that the final decision on our next goal, that we will make that at our annual meeting on October twenty fifth. As you know, that's our legal meeting that we have have to have every year, and our goal is that on that day we also make a, a final decision on the next thematic goal, on the next focus of the church. In the meantime, we want to encourage everyone, think about it. What would really be beneficial for the church? If we focus on this for three months, for six months, for a year, and we could really achieve this goal, what would be most beneficial for our church? What would bring most glory to God if we could achieve this in the next season of Aletheia? So think about it, pray about it, ask yourself, what would I like to see next in this church? What do I think would really bring glory to God if we could achieve this next? So don't just sit, uh, wait now until 10, 25th, and then some people make some suggestions, and then I say like, oh yeah, sounds good, uh, let's do it. But really, let's have these kind of discussions in the meantime. Think about it, bring something to the leadership if you have an idea, talk with other people, uh, pray with each other, and really, let's have these kind of discussions, not just formally at meetings, but also informally and just giving suggestions to each other, giving ideas to each other. We don't want to start on October 25th then with a blank sheet and be like, okay, what could we do next and kind of start with a brainstorming idea. But our goal is that by then we already did brainstorm. By then we already did have some discussions. By then we already have some form of agreement. And so we don't just go through the whole process in one day. But on that particular day, we will actually only formalize what we have already discussed, what we have already decided over the next few weeks. Um, one or two possible goals that kind of came up, as I said, this is not a decision, but those are kind of the ideas that stood out. Several of us mentioned the idea of outreach, that maybe this is a season when we want the church to grow. Now that we have laid the foundation, we have the relationships with each other. Now that we have greater unity with each other around the church vision and everything. So maybe now is the time for outreach. But it was also a very good point uh, that someone made, and that was maybe before we can do outreach, maybe what we need to do is first prayer. Maybe we first need to enter a season when we pray, not just for each other, because we're already doing that, and that's wonderful. But maybe this is a season when we need to say, let's pray for the church. Let's pray for the city of Munich. Let's pray for the lost. And let's prepare before we actually go out and do outreach and try to bring people in. Let's prepare that prayerfully first. So those were two ideas that kind of got the most uh, support and that were, we kind of informally agreed with each other and said, yeah, these could be great goals. Um, like I said, maybe maybe we want to focus on something else. This is no decision. This is no like, let's do this or kind of like, if you have another idea, it has to wait. But these are two possible goals that kind of crystallized as we um, talked with each other and discussed with each other yesterday. So um, like I said, think about it, pray about it. We have a few weeks time, but please um, don't be passive about it. And if you have any ideas, if you have any, any thoughts about it, then please bring it to the leadership and then um, we will take the next steps from there so that by October 25th we can all agree together on the next goal. So that's our church focus meeting that we had yesterday. Lastly, uh, this Sunday we will have an identity teaching, the church identity teaching. Um, many of you have been part of us in January when we did an extensive series, a sermon series over a whole month on this particular topic. Now since January we've added several members who have not heard the teaching back then. And so to, in order to get us all on the same page, we want to do this teaching again, just in a more compact format. This is something that we do want to do regularly, maybe every six months to a year or so for everybody who is new to the church, for everybody who has not heard it before. And so that's what we are going to do this coming Sunday. So two things. If you haven't heard the teaching yet, if you have not been with us in the church in January, then we really want to encourage you that you will join us this Sunday so that you, you can be, uh, 
we, you can get up to speed and you can also hear the teaching that we have been giving uh, back in January so that we are all united and you understand better what kind of church we're trying to build here. Also, this is, of course, in lead up to the annual meeting. So we will talk about legal membership very soon. And if we ask someone to be a legal member, then, of course, it's also very important that you know what kind of church you are considering becoming a legal member of. So that's why I think this is great timing. So if in any way possible, if you have not heard the teaching in January, then we want to encourage you, please join us this Sunday. Um, if you have heard the teaching and you just want a refresher and you just think like, yeah, it's good for me to hear it again because it's kind of, yeah, I forgot a few things or maybe I just want to be reminded of a few things or I want to hear it again so that it sinks deeper. Of course, you're welcome to join as well. We run it particularly for those who are new members who haven't heard it yet, but anybody is welcome. And so if that is you, please join us as well. So this teaching is going to happen this coming Sunday. It's going to start at noon at 12 p.m. And then, of course, it will obviously lead into the service. So we'll have lunch together as well. Um, so we start at 12. We'll take a lunch break. And then, of course, it's much more compact. We're not going to do the whole uh, sermon series that we did back in January. It's going to be shorter. But so we have around two hours or so of teaching and some time of fellowship. And we will use that um, to, <clears throat> to bring everybody up to speed on our church identity. I've already reached out to many of you. So if you have already told me that you're coming, then you're all good. If you have not told me yet, yet that you're coming this Sunday and you would like to join, then please text me and then um, so that we have enough lunch for everyone. And then um, we'll do the teaching this Sunday together. All right. So that's the announcements that we have for today. Uh, hope you all have a great week. And we're looking forward to seeing you then tomorrow at the online small group and Friday in the small group. And then, of course, on Sunday for the identity teaching, church identity teaching, as well as for the service. Have a great week.